This is Dabu 7. Right now, in the depths of the Gulf of Mexico lies an area the size of New Jersey that is so oxygen-deprived that it's void of almost all marine life in the area. These so-called dead zones are not a new phenomenon, but it's something that is growing larger because of a couple different circumstances here. They're saying that at 8,776 square miles, it is the largest ever since the tracking began in 1985. And they say that the situation seems to get to its climax or peak in terms of issues and problems in the summertime. What happens is they have a lot of, I guess, warmer fresh water that comes down and sits on top of cooler salt water. This stops the oxygen from rising, but what we have here is a situation that seems to be twofold. And when looking back all the way to the 50s and 60s, you start to see what started this. This has to do a lot with the fertilization and the, the materials being used by farmers upstream and in many of the states in the o Ohio Valley and in the breadbasket of America. And what they noticed is the fertilizer comes down and breaks down in the algae. And then this algae, when it goes through this process, it consumes massive amounts of oxygen in the water. So it starts to deprive the water of oxygen. And when it does this in mass, in a large area, you have a big issue. The shrimp don't want to come in here. They avoid it. They get to go up and around to get into certain areas. And with less oxygen, those shrimp that do come around are smaller. They're growing smaller, worth less money. So you would say, okay, there needs to be some limits there on the fertilizers and everything that, that's causing this. Well, in doing so and trying to, to put some of these things into place in some of these states, they've seen some success. But what also is added into the equation is Mother Nature. And they say when going back and tracking this throughout the past few decades, when there's been a lot of rain and washout coming through the Ohio Valley, down the Ohio and Mississippi, and then letting out down here in the Gulf, those higher rains are washing out higher concentrations of those fertilizers, and it's just making that issue that much greater. When there's less rains, they see a smaller dead zone. So they're saying somewhere along the lines here, the combination of greater rains this past year and runoff and the problem with the fertilizers, you have a massive dead zone that is larger than it's ever been. And a lot of that is coming from the breadbasket of the United States that is feeding the world. Like I said in a post the other night, in terms of China and trade with China, they depend on a majority of their soybean supply coming from the United States. And that's just one example of one product that has grown here that keeps the economy going and also keeps people fed. But this is the outcome. This is the, the circumstances we face on the other side of the coin, downstream, what it's doing to the Gulf. There has to be a better way. And to me, there has to be more research into this field and into into fixing this issue. And also, let's not forget all of the oil spills, the massive spills that have gone on in this same area that also contribute to things dying off in this zone. But I will leave a link. I'll continue to update with more information as I come across it. As always, Spindabu7. Peace.